hey so welcome or welcome back to my channel so we are doing a patriotic diy well not a <laughs> we're doing some it's an open playlist and it's hosted by Teresa b diy and a big thank you to Teresa for putting this together you know i always say these ladies are so good to me and so good to so many of us because of them having these my channel gets viewed and Teresa, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Teresa does a lot of good things here. She she donates her revenue, um, you know, for good causes. Well, so does Tammy for Happiness Created. But, I mean, right now we're talking about Teresa. <laughs> so, um, I hope that you'll go to her channel, of course, and go to the playlist. It'll all be in my description box. And, uh, okay, I guess we're already started into my DIYs. I'm not very good at timing all this lately. Okay, so here's project number one. Um, so basically this is, I got two of these packs of flip-flops. I want to say last summer, the summer before at Dollar Tree. I don't know, back when they were a dollar. And I shopped like I needed 10 of everything. <laughs> oh, if I could go back and tell myself, my new crafting self, that I don't need 10 of everything not only would my crafting space love me not only would my wallet love me but uh yeah i would learn a lot <laughs> so um i'm using one of these today thank goodness and this ended up turning out so stinking cute i don't know i just thought it was adorable i just put some um scrapbook paper uh, from I got a Hobby Lobby last year on it, made it actual flip flops, and I just absolutely adore these. They're so cute. Um, I don't know, they're so cute. I thought about cutting them apart, but I thought, no, I think I like them better just put together, um, you know, to be stay together, I guess I want to say. Um, and they look adorable together as well. Because I kind of thought I wanted to hang them like from a string. That's why I kind of wanted to, one to be above the other. And I thought, you know, I'm just not going to do that. Because then one of the flip-flops would have looked wonky compared to the other one. And wonky is my word of the day. <laughs> okay, so um, right there I'm just trying to get the extra scrapbook paper off. I have got to get myself one of those finger sanders. The ones I've seen on Amazon. Um, I'm just really trying hard not to spend money right now on crafting anything. I just simply, I, I cannot continue to do it. Although I would like one and one day I'll get myself one. <laughs> so here's where I'm taking and I'm tying a, the end of the twine in a knot. And then I'm going to make my little flip flop strings on both of them and yeah that's pretty much it on this i really really like them i think they're adorable um i'm gonna use them on my tear tray or i think next to my tear tray because i tried to decorate my tear tray with them and they were a little bit big so probably standing right next to my tear tray I hope you guys are all doing well. Can you believe we are already into the middle of June? Like, I'm just, I cannot even believe it. Time just flies. Like, we're doing 4th of July projects. Oh, my goodness. Because it's in, what, two and a half weeks? <laughs> I just don't know where the time goes. And the older I get, the quicker it's going. Ugh. I'm feeling wonky these days as I age. <laughs> okay, so I'm just trying to not burn my fingers because hot glue is hot. You know, sometimes I forget that and put my finger right in it and it really, really hurts. My little pink glue gun there that I love so much, it's not keeping charge as long as it used to and I'm so sad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do a final review at the end of this video. I know I've been kind of switching it up. Sometimes I'm giving you the reveal after, sometimes at the end. But I don't know. You just never know what you're going to get with me. <laughs> okay, these are some sticks I got at Hobby Lobby about a year ago um, for 99 cents. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to pick these up. I'll use them someday. And here's the day. <laughs> here's the day. 
So I've always wanted to make myself a mini ladder. I've always wanted to make myself a big ladder too. So that's coming up soon. I really want to make a like a blanket ladder. So this is my mini blanket ladder. And right now I'm just trying to size it because the, they were 10 inches long and I didn't think I needed a 10 inch mini ladder. I kind of thought that was a little too big. It would look, I didn't think it would look right. So I'm going to cut it down to eight inches and then I'm doing like every half an inch to inches. I'm really bad at inches. I'm learning that through my paper crafting that I am not good with figuring out inches. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so hard for me. I don't, I just can't figure it out. I'm going to have to go back to school. <laughs> and, and I know I've been out of school a long time, but come on. Like I can't figure out inches. It's not the inches I can't figure out. It's the quarter inches and half inches and eighth of an inch. And yeah, I'm struggling with that. Okay. Here's my Dremel that my sister got me my sister and her husband got me for um, Christmas. And if you're watching, thank you guys. I love it. Now, here's the thing. It really makes me nervous. I'm afraid the blade is going to pop off and like slice me open. But I'm sure it's not going to do that. But the whole time I'm doing it, that's all I can think about. Is the blade popping off and cutting me up. But <laughs> as you can see, I'm fine. Uh, right there it is all cut with my Dremel <laughs> but the whole time I was a nervous wreck okay so now I'm because it's fourth of July I'm gonna you know get the all this glue together and then I'm gonna paint it in crimson red Now, I'm using this Dollar Tree glue and I have to, the hot glue, I would have to tell you, I don't recommend it. It's kind of what I've always used. It's super, and I think it's just getting worse. Or, I mean, I, I don't know, I haven't bought it in a long time because I've had so much of it, but it's very stringy. It's not holding very well. Um, maybe it just loses its touch after having it for so long. I don't know, but I'm just not a fan. The next time I buy uh, hot glue sticks, I'm definitely going to invest in some decent ones because these are so bad. Okay, so now I'm trying to get the other one up there. It's so cute. See, isn't it cute? I really do like it. It looks super cute, too, next to the cheer tray. Yeah. I don't know what took me so long to make one. I just don't understand why I didn't make one of these forever ago. You guys, do you have any plans for the 4th of July? I have never really been a big fan of the 4th of July. It's not that I don't like fireworks and stuff. I do, but I just don't like the big crowds. And um, I don't know. I just don't want to be in a... It, it, I just feel like the world is becoming a very dangerous place to live. Now, I don't want, you know, the bad things that happen in the world to... I don't want to live my life in fear. But, you know, you have to think about that a little bit. I mean, you know, we have... Um, I live in Ohio and downtown Columbus gets so many hundreds of thousands of people down there. And, you know, I just worry about what could happen or, you know, so I don't know. I just prefer to stay home, be safe. And that's definitely me getting older because when I was younger, I, I wanted to go to places all the time. I was ready to go. So I'd like to hear if you guys have plans. And I'm, plus I'm working that weekend, so it's not like I really could do anything if I wanted to. I do like to go places with my grandkids, though. I mean, anything I can do with my grandkids, I love. So I've got this. Um, I, this is some ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, if you guys have noticed, I have a ton of ribbon. I'm not a big bow person. I think it's because I don't know how to make a great bow. But I really want to try to get better at it. So... 
Um, hopefully you're going to start seeing me use bows a little more often because I really do love the way they make projects look. Okay, here's some table scatter that I got last year. I don't think I bought anything new for the 4th of July this year, except for some words from Hobby Lobby. And other than that, I got nothing else. So this table scatter, I'm now going to decorate it. And uh, that says America in the blue. I'm going to put it across the top, put me some stars on there. And this is going to be done up. It's going to look so cute for the 4th of July. Now, I do not know why, you guys. I mean, sometimes I just get to crafting. And you all know I forget the cameras on. I just craft away. And then you guys have to listen to me go on and on and on while you're just watching me do the simplest things for the longest time. <laughs> so sorry i don't know oh my goodness if you've if you haven't fast forwarded by now you are my hero because <laughs> i would have fast forwarded by now i'd have been like come on maxine we do not need to see come on let's get to the end of the project we see you're making a ladder girl <laughs> oh my goodness okay there she is there's my beautiful ladder i love it Again, don't forget that Teresa B. DIY and the playlist will be in my description box. Okay, and big thanks to Teresa. Okay, so I've got two more DIYs. Now, this is one of those little milk jugs from, I guess, no, creamer. I'm sorry, <laughs> a milk jug. <laughs> a milk, that's a milk jug, you guys. A creamer container from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm just going to paint it white. That's Rust-Oleum white. And I want to get a little bit of the inside too because you're going to be able to see the inside. I can't even tell you how many coats I put on this. I mean, it took so many coats to cover up. And it's just like a pale green. Like, I wish that pale green would have went with the 4th of July so I didn't have to paint it. But I put a lot of coats on there. Okay, now i got it dry and all this. And I'm promise you I thought my camera was on when I decorated it and it was not I was so sad all I did though was I just glued on you know some more of that table scatter that's all I did and then tied on a couple of those um star and striped um ribbon onto the handle okay so now I had already made those the other night I made um pinwheels so I'm going to put my pinwheels on a straw now I am going to make one pinwheel at, after I do all these on straws just to show you how I made the pinwheels and I'm going to make a really big pinwheel now this is part of my paper crafting that I've been really enjoying and I kind of wanted to bring in a paper crafting into my crafting occasionally and um, I think they turn out so stinking cute and they look really good on my tear tray I just love it okay so there it is. It's two pieces of paper from the Hobby Lobby. Now, if you had a double-sided piece of paper, you wouldn't need two pieces of paper, right? Because my problem is that one on the other side, it's just plain white. Well, you don't want to do a pinwheel and have one side white. Well, I guess unless you did, but I didn't. I wanted it to both be, you know, 4th of July. So I take, that's bare art glue or something. You guys, that is like the best glue ever okay so you go corner to corner corner to corner okay that's all you do make sure you really get those you know bends in there now we're going to take a pair of scissors and on each bend we're going to cut not all the way up but i'd say three-fourths of the way okay so three-fourths of the way. Now you're going to take a marker or a pen or a paintbrush, anything that's around, and you're going to curl it a little bit so that they curl in with you. This is how you're putting your pinwheel together. Now, lots of you may know how to do this. I actually learned from, I think, her, I think it's Lolo Crafts. She's a paper crafter, and I watched her because I Googled how to make um, pinwheels, and her channel is the one that I got it from, Lolo Crafts. I'm going to try really hard to remember to put her channel in the description box because she's really fabulous at paper crafting. And, I mean, she made hers in, like, nothing flat, and I learned from it. It was pretty awesome. Okay, so now we're doing the other two. 
Now this one was, it's probably twice the size of the other ones, but I just thought I wanted to try to make it a bigger one. And I did, and I love it. Now, because obviously now this is my glue gun that's like hot and cool. And that, so I have it on hot or hot and high and low, I think it is. And I put it on high and I did not want to burn myself because, oh my good. And I do here in a minute, you're going to see me. It hurts so bad with this high temp glue. Oh, it hurts. So now I'm putting some of that table square to the stars in the middle. And it just looks so, so cute. I hope that you guys like this as much as I do. When I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, they had these pinwheels two in a pack for $1.99. I mean, it's 40% off. But I almost picked um, a pack of them up. So that's when I thought, you know, I'm going to go home and learn how to make pinwheels. Instead of buying me a set of, you know, paper pinwheels, I'm just going to go home and make them. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> uh, and I've got these on my tear tray. I thought about like taking to like ribbon and putting it down the straw and all that. But you're not really going to see it because it's sitting in the uh, creamer container, you know, that I've decorated up. So I didn't. But still, oh my goodness. I like this so much. I hope you guys do too. It's so stinking cute. Okay, so that's DIY number three. Okay, I have to say, I think this one is, it's the last one. And I think it's my favorite. Absolutely my favorite. I got these, um, those states, whatever you want, that wooden states at um, Dollar Tree last year. And I knew I was going to do something with them, but, you know, always put it away thinking you're going to use them this year. You know me, I'm, I'm crafting my stash. So this is an old, um, that frame, that was a canvas frame. I had already used it for something else, but I never painted the popsicle sticks or tongue compressors, whatever you want to call them, craft sticks. Okay. So this, the frame was already done for me. So I took and um, painted it red, the crimson red, because I really wanted it to pop. Now this, I'm going to keep out all year round. I am not going to um, put this away with my... Um, 4th of July because I want to start coloring in everywhere I've been, like every state I've been in. Now, I've not been in a lot, but I've been in a few, you know, so there I'm trying to decide, do I want it to be higher than the frame or do I want to put it on the side of the tumbling tower block? So I decided I want it higher than the frame, but look what I do here. <laughs> I've been habit. I put it, look, I was like, Maxine, like... <laughs> I cannot make it through a craft without doing something like just without thinking. I just do it and I don't think about it. It makes me so mad at myself. Like, why can I just slow down, not make these simple mistakes? But it's just who I am, I think. <laughs> it's just who I am. Okay, so... I think that's, isn't that so cute? And I'm not gonna paint that, because like I said, I wanna start coloring in where I go. So that's gonna stay just that color until I decide, I haven't decided how I'm gonna color it in. But here I've got some stars that I bought last year at Hobby Lobby. And I'm trying to decide, do I wanna put on, you know, four on the corner, three, do, you know, how do I wanna do this? Because you guys know this is my process. I have to think about, you know, what I wanna do. So I decide that I'm gonna do three corners or maybe here, maybe I'm still thinking I'm going to do four. I don't know. But I'm going to Mod Podge um, the uh, these napkins on these stars. So that's what I'm about to do. Look at that one. That one, these are from uh, Family Dollar. Could you believe that I, normally you have to fight tooth and nail to get your two ply off. 
it basically just was already off for me. I was like, now that's a cheap napkin. <laughs> Uh, like the two ply was already ripped off for you. I couldn't believe it. Now I didn't check any of the other ones, but I'll just bet you they're the same. I'll bet the napkins are already <laughs> are already off for you. Oh, it cracks me up. Now I could have went the easy route here and I could have just painted these stars, but I really wanted to um put you know to mod podge the napkin on them. That's why I just felt like it would look um. A little more vintage, a little bit more farmhouse. Um, see here, I realized that it's Sparkle Mod Podge. And I'm not going to use my Sparkle Mod Podge. Because you're not going to see it. So I go and get my Matte Mod Podge. Now on one of these in a minute, <laughs> you're going to see me put the Mod Podge part of the um, star on the back, like as if I'm going to show the back of it. I was like, Maxine, I don't know how I ended up getting it off and getting it on the right way. I mean, I've got a ton of napkins there, so I guess it didn't really matter. But again, it's just those silly things I do that just, <laughs> I get so upset at myself for it. And I don't know why, because... I mean, mistakes happen, right? And we're not perfect people, that's for sure. We are definitely not perfect. I cannot believe I kept all this in. Like, what am I doing? I should have fast-forwarded this twice at least so that you guys weren't still here watching me Mod Podge all these on. Like, it could have been, you know, like two minutes long instead of four or five minutes long. Well, I do need watch hours, so. <laughs> For the ones of you that really support me and actually watch all this thank you so much because i do need the watch hours but i would never do that on purpose okay look at that so i didn't do it all thank goodness so now all those are dry and i decide on the one right hand corner at the bottom i'm going to do these usa um letters from dollar tree so i'm going to paint them in the blue that's a navy blue from april barrel and i love that blue like that reminds me of the fourth of july blue for sure like i just absolutely love it it's such a pretty sharp um just navy blue it's so pretty and it looks really good on these letters too I can't tell you all how good it feels to be back to crafting and back to being an open collabs. You, I'm just, oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I just can't even tell you how happy I am. Okay, now you see that that star? It's very um, torn up because that's the one I made the mistake on. And I didn't care. I thought it gave it character. I mean, I could have switched. I could have flipped it over and done it the right. And I thought, you know what? No, I like it like that. So that's what I do. I leave it just like that. And then I'm going to put the USA on the bottom. And basically, this is going to be done. But I love this. I'm telling you, I think this is probably, I think it is my favorite. I like it a lot. And if you guys have stuck with me to the end of this, thank you so much. I mean, I just cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. You mean the world to me. Even if you didn't stick with me to the end, you still mean the world to me. <laughs> But if you stuck with me at the end, you are a trooper and I appreciate you. Don't forget to go check out the playlist and Teresa B. DIY's channel, okay? And look, there it is. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. Oh, I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know what I'm going to color in for the excuse me, for the states I've been in, but I'm going to color something in. Mm, I love it. Look at the USA. It looks so good. Okay, and then here's my tear tray. There's the little flip-flops. 
There's my, um, oh, okay, first I'm going to show you the flip-flops, okay. Alright, there's my ladder. I love it, love it. And in the back there, that was the other, um, collab I did with all the 4th of July. Look, isn't that cute? And then we're going to show you my container, my milk jug. <laughs> my milk jug, I mean my creamer, I can't believe I called it a milk jug. And um, my pen wheels. Oh, my paper pen wheels. I'm so, so excited about. All right, you guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so, so much. And if you're from the playlist, I would love it if you subscribed and stuck around. And, and if you guys want to give me a big thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.